Hi, Prince, UK Self-Defense Green, time to sharpen blades, oh yeah. Okay, today I'm gonna to talk about a generic uh, defense of the head, and uh, it, I mean, I follow a guy called Bobby Gunn. If you don't know who Bobby Gunn is, Bobby Gunn is the current heavyweight world uh, boxing bare knuckle champion. And Bobby Gunn has got, in my opinion, one of the best defenses of any fighter on the planet. And how does that defense that he uses transfer for martial artists like me and like you. I'll explain. Okay. A lot of systems in martial arts, right, they go from this low, low chamber. They go deep stance and they've got a low chamber and then they, 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 they deliver their blows, right? In the more modern systems, we use our arms up here, right? But if you haven't got your hand at this height, okay, right, like Bobby does, okay, right, then you're opening yourself up for some problems. Do you see, this generic position that we have, if you practice this every day, so rather than practicing with your arms down looking like you're out of a movie, and thinking more like the street, thinking, well, if it goes down, what are the vital areas I need to protect? You need to protect your temple, your cranium, your eye socket. I mean, if I've got my arms down here and something comes at me, a projectile, I could potentially lose an eyeball. I could have my nose broken or my jaw broken. But if I've got my hand and t uh, my blocking hands round here as a defense, I'm covering some extremely vital areas. Cartlide artery, sternum, chest, the heaven's gate, so I'm from here, I'm dropping down. And that is the point. We can transition from this generic position that Bobby Gunn dem em uh, amply demonstrates is so good in bare knuckle, we can take that and use that and stick with that, and then I will show you some of the transitions. Say, for instance, I'm here, okay, right, and, I'm, and, I, and I do it do like an elbow strike, okay? Notice that elbow strike comes from this kind of area. Now, if I'm here and something comes in, it's easier for me to block and strike at the same time. It's easier for me to get in there. Do you see, as we, we discuss, something comes in, in into my, my solar plexus. I'm in a better position from there. Short movement. If it comes in, say, a, a low kick comes into my liver, which is a dangerous shot, boom. You see, I've got myself covered. The old point is, if you continue training in your system and you get sloppy and lazy with this generic, so you don't do it all the time and your arms can't go for quite a time where they're getting tired and they drop down, when you get in the street, you're gonna have problems. Now, the theory is this. If you get two guys, two boxers say, they're both the same speed and one is showboating and he comes from down here and he jabs you in the face, fantastic. That's showboating. But he's going from point A to point B a longer distance than the guy who's the same speed who's doing this and going from point A to point B. Who do you think is gonna connect first? It's gonna be the guy, he's gonna occupy that space quicker than the previous guy because he's showboating. Now, taking this a stage further, if you watch people like May Weatherfield, and they're using the shoulder as fantastic cover, okay? It's a fantastic block, it's a fantastic parry, and it's a fantastic skill to have. And I know in JKD, in the early uh, part of JKD, they incorporate it, and it's really, really good. But notice where I am. I'm from here. It's, it's a tiny movement. And hypothetically, if I'm here, so I'm adding something to that already. If I'm slipping, if I'm slipping, I can slip and at the same time. It may just connect. So we need to make sure that our, our hands stay here. Now, adding something more onto that is the solo impact drill. If you're doing this in all your training sessions and you're getting used to keeping your, your, your guard up here, notice we want to stop any projectile that comes in round about this, because most guys in the street want to hit you in the head, right? If you hit somebody in the head, unless your hands are conditioned, there's a very high probability you're going to break your fingers, right? So what we do, as you know, we pack things 
out the way. We parry them out the way. We just get them out the way, right? So this solo impact drill comes from this position. And by practicing this, you're covering this little vital area here. I'll show you. Do you see? So I'm practicing. Just nice, gentle speed. Tap, tap. You see, in a lot of systems, when you make that tap, that connection, that tap, you know you've hit the sweet spot for that projectile coming in. So if you're practicing with your partner and, and they throw the jab and you're continually practicing like this, you automatically react as a natural progression of your training. That is one of the benefits. And you're building yourself a very long, neuro, a very strong neurological pathway. So putting it all together, you're keeping your generic defense high, which allows you to move into many defenses. It allows you to do a lot, all from this position. I think if you're going into street fighting and you're holding a lower position like this, Although I can do it, I don't know if you can, but I don't want to look flash. I just want to get the job done. And the thing is, from my life, I am the expert in the street fighting area. I mean, I've been around street fighters. I've done it myself, so I understand this. I'm not talking about the expertise in a dojo, okay? I've got that, but I like keeping with what is real and what is happening on the street. So all that flash stuff that you're doing, and all those super high kicks, you've got to remember, under duress, the ball game changes. If you come out in the street and you can get a low shot in, why would you want to go for the headshot? You practice the headshot, so as when you do the low shot, it's easy to do. So you don't go into your training all the time with your arms like this, because that's a pattern that you build up. You get your arms into this position, and you maintain that position so you can tap anything that comes towards you out the way. If you've got your head uh, together and you haven't had a, a jerk to the, to the head, you've got all your senses. And anything comes in, it's easy for you to, to, to and get in. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that, uh, that little tip. If you like this channel, uh, as a lot of people are starting to do now, if you could be kind enough to give me a like or subscribe, and you can email me on printscreen at live.uk and uh, I answer a lot of the emails in person and it's just fantastic. Listen, have a great day. This is Prince, UK self Screen. Yeah.